Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn the answer of this question. How would you write your T-SQL query or a store procedure for multi-value parameter in SSRS report? So let's start with T-SQL and then we'll go to the store procedure part. Think about a scenario where we need to create a report and we need these all columns from total sale table. And we would like to have a region as multi-value parameter. So our query will look like this. Select asterisk from total sale I really don't recommend uh, writing asterisk here but as a, I want to save some time that's why I'm uh, writing asterisk uh, otherwise uh, I will always uh, write the column names what I need here and uh, then next part is the uh, where and uh, you have to provide the column name region and next part is we have to say in uh, and parenthesis and parameter name uh, let's call this one uh, P region if you would like uh, you can have the same name uh, of a parameter like your column uh, so it can be only region uh, so it doesn't really matter as long as uh, you provide in the parentheses and uh, it has in clause so you will be saying uh, your uh, your column name in sorry in and then you have parentheses around your parameter name copy this one and go to the ssms now go to the data set uh, add data set uh, paste hit okay and bring couple of columns here so we can see the values so let's say first name this one and region now you preview that as you can see that we have a text box it is multi-value parameter as we have written in clause so we can type our values here so i typed asia and europe and if i will preview my report i do not see anything one thing we need to do here we need to go to the uh, parameter in the uh, bids or ssdt where, where we are developing our report or creating our report uh, and go to the parameter properties uh, and here we have to tell like okay this is a multi-value parameter so you will click allow multiple values uh, so that's going to make this parameter multi-value first thing uh, we have to provide in the query in clause uh, second uh, we have to set the properties of a parameter as accept multi-values. Now you see that this text box is chained. Now we have a bigger text box and we can type multiple values. Let's go ahead and type it now. Asia and Europe, let's say. I didn't put comma. Let's see what happened now. So now we see that Asia and Europe data is right here. So that's how you will create your T-SQL query and change the property for multi-value parameter in the parameter properties next part if you would like to provide the value for this parameter you can use a specify values you can add some static values such as asia can be added europe can be added and uh, north america for my regions i know that these are the three regions i'm using but tomorrow if i would like to use more or less regions what i need to do i have to come back and delete from here instead of that i can select those region names from the table by using the query so i have to create a new data set and then i have to use that data set here to get the region names and these values will be used for the parameter so if we would like to have default we can also add default or the default value can be get from the query as well now this is it so we are done with the t sql part let's go to the difficult part where we have to create a store procedure and then use that store procedure in the ssrs so i have one example right here so you say create procedure and then procedure name at the rate region that's our input parameter and i said walker thousand as i know that i will be passing more than one value so i made it a walker thousand i can make it work uh, watch at eight thousand if i feel like uh, there would be a lot of values i need to pass uh, or watch your max whatever you like uh, then we say as a begin and then we declaring uh, a local variable uh, i call this one uh, let's uh, change this one to the thousand as well why i did that because uh, i want to get the values from here from the input parameter and then change or replace every comma in the value to the single quotes uh, around it uh, and uh, also have the comma here so think about a scenario when we write our query with the tc equal if i will provide the region uh, how i will do that uh, so in this case if i have to provide region i will provide asia comma 
Europe, right? So this is exactly I'm trying to do in the store procedure. You will provide single quotes here and single quotes here and then you have to have comma to separate the value and single quotes uh, around other value. This is how you will see the value and now you can see the results. Uh, but in a store procedure, if SSRS is uh, going to use this input parameter, it is going to provide the value something like this. Uh, it will provide us Asia, comma, Europe. So this is how it will uh, provide them. But we know that this is not going to work in our in clause. So if I will remove these, this is not going to work, right? This is going to throw us an error. So that's why I need those single quotes around it. So I took the values and then replaced with the single quotes and comma. So after that, we will have a different value. Let me show you. We'll run this uh, print statement and we'll see how uh, exactly values are given and then we can print them. Then I'm declaring a SQL and work and watch your max. So I'm using dynamic SQL here. I'm building my SQL query as I have the values of those uh, parameters. I can use in my select query now. And here you have you see that select uh, all the column names I need in my report. And then here I'm concatenating that uh, at the rate of work variable region values so once i add that up it will create a, a complete select query let me show you how it will be so it will be something like this so it will have column names and from table where region in these values so go back here and then we can print this out we don't need to execute let's say i will comment this execute part now one uh, one other thing you will see here i'm inserting uh, these values uh, in the global temp table so you see that uh, then i'm selecting the values from global temp table and i'm dropping those uh, dropping that uh, global temp table you will see why i'm not uh, using even global temp table so if i would not use the global temp table i see a problem in ssrs uh, ssrs does not uh, give that uh, column names if you will use the dynamic sql so that was the problem I was facing uh, the, the best solution I could come okay I will write those values in the temp table and uh, once I have those all records in temp table I can select them and uh, so my report will select all those records after that I don't need my temp table anymore and uh, then I will drop it uh, now here we have a uh, we are not executing uh, this uh, query uh, or we can let's say we are printing it as of now let's go ahead and create the store procedure so we can see in action how exactly it work now store procedure is created i'm passing these value the way ssrs is going to pass to this store procedure so you see that there are no single quotes around it so there are single quotes as starting and end as it is string but there are there is no single uh, quotes right here and right here that we need in the in clause so we that's why we have uh, re used the replace part in our store procedure so here it accept uh, the value as it is as we are providing like this here and then uh, replace the single this one uh, the comma with the single quotes around it uh, so let's go ahead and execute and see what i'm talking about so see here that's uh, the first quotes are already around and then we replace the comma with single quotes and um comma and single quotes on the left and right so now if we see our query here you can see that where region in and you can see that there are single quotes around the value we have comma and then we have second value so we are all good here now the rest part see uh, now we can execute this error is coming because we did not execute and we were trying to drop the table so if we execute this query it is going to create the table so it, we will not get this uh, error let's alter the store procedure the code will be available in the description and uh, you can take a look from there i will put the link actually and uh, you can go to link copy this code if you like and test by yourself and now we are altering the store procedure and here if you run it now you are going to get the records and in the message you can see how this is prepared so this is good now the 
if uh, our command uh, remove all the print statements uh, because uh, that can also create a problem uh, in the SSRS report you might not get the column names correct uh, or even not get it uh, if you have print statements uh. so we are good now let's go to the design let's go to data set uh, delete the data set uh, delete the region we don't need this parameter anymore we are going to use a store procedure and here we don't need these columns as well add a data set and here we will be using a store procedure go to the drop down let's see what we have sales uh, data set embedded in my query and let's see if we have created a, where is our uh, data source data source is the sales go back here and we are in this dbo let's see we can actually type it if we don't see that so sql 16 that's good that's uh, where we are pointing and our database is sales so that's great now let's go back and create a data set And now we use a store procedure and uh, now it is there it was just matter of refreshing so we have the store procedure here now fields will come if we will provide the value fine if you don't find uh, let's see fields go ahead and query refresh fields and here we can provide the value for the parameter so let's say region is Asia sorry now you go to fields and all the fields will pop up hit ok and you can bring some of the columns here to see the data you might uh, say Amir is taking too much time here but I'm explaining all those points uh, that really need uh, to be explained in the interview so the person will understand your in-depth knowledge so you see that uh, even in the uh, store procedure we wrote this uh, um, query with in clause and uh, let me show you as you can see that we have in clause in the query region in but still the parameter is coming as a text box it is not multi-value remember to make it multi-value we have to go to the parameter properties right click parameter properties go to the allow multi-values so we have to check this box hit ok now if we go here and we can see that it is multi-value so the drop down is chained from text box now we have a big text uh, box uh, where we can type the things uh, let's say if I will say Asia and Europe now we should be seeing uh, those uh, records uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I recommend uh, explaining all these details uh, in the interview and uh, it will not take you 10 minutes to explain that because I'm doing that I'm showing you each and every step uh, that's why it is taking me more time when you are gonna explain it is gonna take you maybe a minute or a minute and a half and uh, that's absolutely okay because you are telling the in-depth uh, problems uh, solutions uh, and the people like that good luck with your interview and I will see you guys in the next video